Yo, what up? It's your own boy Cam Corner Banks, and today we're about to be doing some grown ish. We're about to be doing some adulting, man. We're about to be handling bills. We'll be back. We're about to handle some extra household things. We're about to be on a move. I got a lot of stuff that I want y'all to roll with me and check out and see what I'm about to start doing moving forward. So, first thing first, I gotta head to church. So, peace. All right, y'all, I just made it here to my church. And service starts at 11. For those who don't know, you got nine o'clock service, you got 11 o'clock service. So I go to the 11 o'clock service. Um, T and Ivy is getting some things done right now. So it's me that's coming here, of course, representing for the family. Um, so yeah, we're about to get up in here. I'm just a few feet away right now. But of course, I can't take y'all on the inside right now. So I'm gonna just get at y'all when I uh, finish up and everything. So once I finish up, I get back to y'all when I get on this camera. And then after that, of course, like I said, we headed to this gym, so I'll catch up with y'all in just a second, all right? Peace. All right, y'all, church was amazing. Of course, in normal fashion, I'm in front of everybody. I'm being right in, uh, I'm gonna get off of this and quit being ignorant. I'm, front, I'm in front of everybody, I'm in front of everybody. But like I was saying, church was amazing. Church was amazing. So I challenge any and everybody to get you some church in your life, man. Get you some church in your life. All right, y'all, before I do anything, before I get working out and all that stuff, I do all my stretching. So before y'all do any type of workout, hopefully y'all stretching. And for all those people that's like, man, I'm young, I ain't gotta do nothing like this. All right, bro, go ahead if you want to. While you doing that workout, you gonna pop something, you gonna pull something. It took me a while to understand stretching until I started working out and I was always pulling something. Like two, three days later, I had a worse pain in the world and I'd be pulling something not knowing that I'm stretching muscles that I was supposed to be stretching before and after. But all right, y'all, I'm finna go ahead. I'm finna hit this elliptical. I already told y'all what was my foot problem, so I can't really run like that. Another different type of workout to keep your cardio up will be the elliptical, since I can't really bend my foot like that because of the sprain that I have. So staying off of it and making sure that I'm not injuring myself or re-injuring it, I just use the elliptical and I make sure I burn out the same amount of energy that I will when I'm running. So I mean, like you can burn out a lot of energy if you stay on the elliptical a little bit longer and push the pressure up. But in this case, I'm just gonna try to burn as much as I would if I was to run for, you know, three or four miles. Alright y'all, so I'm back at the crib. So basically what I wanted to talk to y'all about was uh, basically how it's going to do everything, like I said, with my finances. That kind of ties into like what I was doing when it comes to this channel. Basically, what I was doing with this channel was I was seeing that my lifestyle was turning into more of a spending habit instead of like more of a saving aggressively how I wanted to. Like I was saving, but I wasn't saving aggressively as aggressively as I wanted to. And sometimes when it comes to you adulting and making adult decisions, you have to make those decisions like, all right, it's time for me to fall back from something and it's time for me to spring forward to something else and make sure that I'm moving in the right direction. And in this case, what I wanted to do was I wanted to save more aggressively because I was seeing, like I said, my money was dwindling down because I was doing too much spending instead of doing more saving for later on in the future. Like when you're saving, of course, everybody's like, you want to save for clothes or you want to save for like a trip or something that shouldn't be the case because if you really want to like move forward as an adult or grow maturely as an individual what you have to do is you need to save for those miscellaneous moments those surprise moments like a car breaking down a furnace breaking down water damage or something or you have cracks in your foundation or something that's going on with your car or something that's going on if you get sick or something all which actually happened to me and my family within one year. We had a lot of things that was actually happened that was miscellaneous. It came out of nowhere, it was spontaneous, but we had to be prepared for it. And all at the same time, we still had to continue to be able to pay our bills and everything like that. Even though we was good, we was able to make sure that we moved forward and we didn't have any problems. We were still able to move forward. We still wanted to save aggressively. So in this case, what I was doing was I wanted to make sure that I was saving money the right way. So I actually sat down and I actually did my own budget. Now, good thing is, see, this is the crazy part about having tea is my wife. My wife actually is like the aggressor when it comes to like 
finances and things because she watches Dave Ramsey. And if y'all don't know, y'all can go ahead and check this out real quick. Check that, hit that link or y'all can follow this guy right here. But Dave Ramsey always talks about budgets and everything. It kind of helps you grow into like who you want to be as an individual when it comes to saving your money. So what I did was I, I sat down actually this weekend and I was like, look, what I wanted to do was I want to aggressively save. So what I did was I was looking at Dave Ramsey videos. I was looking at other tutorial videos. And then I, after sitting down for after a while, I was able to create my own spreadsheet and I created a budget. You really don't need a financer. All you really need to know is everything that you're spending your money on and you need to be honest with yourself. Do not hide out those secret pieces, those $2 things that you be spending on, the $10 things that you're spending on. Don't hide away from that and keep that out of your budget. Don't lie to yourself. Be honest with everything that you're spending because you have to do the same thing with a financial advisor. You got to keep it a buck with them. So in order for you to actually create a budget, you need to be honest with yourself and see where all of your money is going. So that's exactly what I did. I sat down, went in my bank accounts, went in my credit cards and everything, and I checked out where all of my money was flowing. Anything that I had on credit cards, checked out the interest on stuff like that. What I did was I found out everything that my budget, where my money was going. going. And at the end of that, after paying all of my bills off, everything off that I had to pay for and then like the entertainment and I kept it a buck groceries gas and everything like that after all of that I was able to see exactly how much money I had left over for the remainder of the month so before you even think about like oh I want to have a hundred thousand dollars you have to be honest first find out what your budget is find out how much money you are getting that's coming in first and then find out where your money is going like where all your bills is going all the way down to gas, phone bills, uh, mortgage, apartment, whatever it is, you got to find out where your money is going. Then once you find out how much money you have left over, you'll be able to find out, all right, now I know how much money I want to save because I have this much money left over. I want to either use all of that or some of that and put that into a savings account. Now, if you want to find out more about like how I did my actual savings, go ahead, drop that comment down below and hit hashtag camcorder. Let me know if you really want to see me do a budget on my account and y'all can actually see how I do a spreadsheet for myself so I can see so I can show y'all how all of my expenses paid out for itself. And then I'm still able to save so much money. And from there, I was able to create a savings goal. Now, it does take time for you to do this. I'm not going to say that it's like super easy and everything. It doesn't. It's something for you to actually learn. This is adulting. It takes time for you to learn stuff like this, but I was able to get it done. But yo, today was pretty chill. Everything that I needed to do, I had got out of the way. So not only did I get to go to church, I got to go to stores. I got to work out, do a little bit of cleaning so I can prepare for the week. Like I said, I don't know about y'all, but how I deal with like stress and anxiety is that I clean. If y'all really trying to get yourself together and y'all like, man, I'm in a bad space and I'm trying to get things ready or organize myself or I don't know why I'm feeling like just like heavy loaded. Look around, look in your room, look around in your office, look around in your crib, your apartment, whatever it is. If it's cluttered, do a little cleaning. It may seem like it's crazy and y'all might not want to move around a little bit. and Y'all just want to relax and everything. Do some cleaning. And after you're done, once you see that everything is clean, you might open up yourself. In this case, I am. I'm like that. In order for me to actually like leave anxiety out the door, I need things to be clean or out, out the way. And I don't have like high anxiety. That's weird. But I guess, I mean, if y'all feel it's weird, I mean, it is what it is. But that's just how I am. Make sure y'all drop that comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about the video. Do y'all want me to talk more about finances? Of course, y'all still want me to talk about sneakers and style and everything like that, which I have some big news that's coming up. Yes, it will have to do about style. Yes, it will have to do about sneakers. Yes, it will be about fashion and it's going to be big. So if you're from Chicago and you kind of like, mm, he said a couple weeks and you kind of putting two and two together, then you know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to just keep it on a hush until... Y'all find out, but I'm going to still have this video. Y'all going to be able to follow me around and everything like that. But this is going to be the first of many things that have happened in the world of Chicago, which I'm excited about. I love that y'all always showing me support, but I also want y'all to make sure that y'all are hitting that like button and show me love in that way, too. Now, with that being said, make sure y'all drop that comment down below. 
make sure y'all follow me on IG as well. And I'm about to get up out of here, man, because this is about to get late and everything. And I'm just about done cleaning this bathroom. So with that being said, I'll catch up with y'all in a minute. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all. Peace.